We're way up above you, quite literally in space. We look down on you, the view is so good. If you don't look up to us, well, damn it, you should bow down to our troika. Their glory knows no bounds. We trust in their genius, their knowledge it astounds. They may have their failings, they may let us down. But we love them regardless, so they run us in the ground. With Sweden doth gloriously rotate in an unstoppable lightning assault, and with Razor once again occupying our rightful channel home, the hibernating masses of Razor Care Bears are awakening. Sadly, the infamous Razor Care Bear, scourge of our fine alliance, is renowned for its inability to correctly fit ships in preparation for even the simplest forms of combat. Chiefly, many are unaware of the existence of the most destructive annihilatory weapon ever to wreak terror on our care-bearing masses, the Garista's Darwin Torpedo. According to our ministry for statistical analyses and manipulations, whose figures never lie, this terror weapon has obliterated over 280,000 Care Bears since the formation of our fine alliance. Such swift, merciless obliteration is guaranteed to result in severe psychological traumas to the fragile Care Bear mind. A glorious leadership, caring, compassionate and shamelessly attractive, have proclaimed steps must and will be taken to prepare for the deluge of Care Bear psychological traumas that will soon flood into Razor medical facilities. As a result, this film has been commissioned with two distinct aims. Firstly, to highlight the visible symptoms of Care Bear psychological trauma. And secondly, to demonstrate accepted Razor principles for correct treatment of these deranged lunatics to facilitate recovery and effective rehabilitation. Razor pilots should be aware of the following classic telltale signs. These include, but are not limited to, the following. The Care Bear may initially appear to be stunned or dazed. Some may suffer from nausea and vomiting, trembling and or severe physical shaking. Others may exhibit such psychological manifestations as uncontrollable apathy and helplessness. There may be sadness, resentment and fatigue. There may be uncontrollable shocks, laughter and or tearfulness. Coherent communication may be beyond him. He may gibber maniacally, making outlandish claims such as I didn't want that chip anyway. Or even I was soloing a titan with my mane. Other irritating whining noises may be emitted and drool may issue from the Care Bear's slackened jaw. In many cases, the victim will experience psychosis and severe hallucinations, resulting in loss of contact with any semblance of reality. Fire! Victims showing one or more of these symptoms can with speed and accuracy be diagnosed with Care Bear Post-Destruction Lunacy Syndrome and be isolated for his own safety to await razor-approved treatment. Razor scientists have proven in many humane experiments that soothing reassurance, gentle music, the color green, and retreats to tranquil garden planets are all without any doubt completely ineffective in curing these raving Care Bear lunatics. With this sad fact in mind, our caring psychiatrists have empirically proven, beyond any reasonable doubt, that only razor-approved denouncement therapy can force the Care Bear's tortured mind back to a firm foothold in sanity. Razor combat pilots and wrinkled bit of vets, yes, they have their uses too, are encouraged by our compassionate shrinks to hurl insults, derisions, vilifications, mockery, and other such caring comments at the Care Bear patient in the public medium of the killboard, and also an ideologically approved forum thread. <laughs> Recommended areas for denouncement include questioning his intelligence, his sanity, his competence, his fitting ability, his manhood size or lack thereof. Other avenues for treatment include suggesting the Care Bear should quit to empire or pod themselves by helpfully suggesting they join a more useless alliance like IRC. Denouncement therapy should continue until signs of patient recovery are observed. 
or until the patient suffers a complete mental breakdown. In this latter case, remember to ask for their stuff. Research studies have shown that 45% of traumatized care bears respond well to this form of mild and gentle treatment and soon return to a reasonably sane state. A further 72% of cases fail to respond, resulting in the additional diagnosis of acute combat incompatibility disorder. Here the care bear experiences a clear comprehension of their feelings as a pilot, an understanding that the levels of tenacity, toughness, and wild animal attractiveness expected of a true Razor Hero pilot is beyond them. Happily, these delicate snowflakes can take their fragile psyches into non-combat fields in which they can happily exist and function as an integral part of our glorious alliance. Areas such as logistics, pulse fueling, manufacturing, or even the so-called propaganda department. The remaining 26% of patients will disturbingly show no discernible response to treatment and are sadly re-diagnosed with incurable Hello Kitty disorder. These worthless mongrels are shipped to state-of-the-art razor lunatic asylums where they will undergo further rounds of loving and caring electroshock and lobotomy treatments, followed by further medical experimentations of debatable purpose or humanity. In this way, these traumatically troubled care bears help razor scientists unravel the nature of their peculiar failings to facilitate future treatments so that one day future care bears may be rehabilitated as fine specimens of razor pilots. All suspected care bears will be provided with a how to survive on docking preventative wall chart. If you suspect that you may be a genuine worthless care bearer and find you fail to understand these simple instructions, please immediately make use of the razor self euthanasia facilitation device issued with each and every chart. Frontline Hero Razor Pilots will also be supplied with a comprehensive counter care bears and survival kit. This kit contains the latest in cutting edge informational wizardry developed by our fine department of audiovisual technological advancements. By familiarizing yourself with the easy to use items in this kit, Razor Pilots such as you, you, and even you, Billy, can quickly and with complete confidence treat the mass psychological casualties expected when our care bear horde encounter the Garista Thor, aka Darwin Torpedo.